The U.S. is not rushing into a deal with Russia to try to end Syria's long and brutal civil war. Officials from both sides spent the weekend trying to reach an agreement. Margaret Brennan is traveling with President Obama at the G20 summit in China. U.S. officials thought they'd be announcing a groundbreaking deal with Russia to coordinate airstrikes against ISIS and al-Qaeda-linked terrorists in Syria. But there was a hitch. There still remain, as I say, a couple of tough issues. Russia had pulled back from their initial agreement with the U.S. It would have ended the Syrian regime's air attacks on civilians and enabled aid to flow in to besieged, starving cities like Aleppo. Any alliance with Russia would be extraordinary, given they're propping up dictator Bashar al-Assad by bombing the U.S.-backed rebels who were trying to overthrow him. But Mr. Obama admitted that America now needs Russia if it has any chance of ending the war that has killed 400,000 people and created 5 million refugees. If we do not get some buy-in from the Russians uh, on reducing the violence and easing the humanitarian crisis, then it's difficult to see how we get to the next phase. Russian President Vladimir Putin and Mr. Obama may try to revive the deal when they meet tomorrow. The trip itself got off to an awkward start yesterday when, just after landing, a Chinese official yelled at National Security Advisor Susan Rice and tried to block her from joining the president's motorcade, prompting the Secret Service to intervene. President Obama downplayed that incident, saying he understands how much strain countries are under when they have to host the U.S. president, given his sizable security entourage. Elaine? Margaret Brennan, thank you.